You want to use Thinkorswim to actively trade. That's fantastic. It is the best place to do it in my opinion it's commission free no annual fees it's an american brokerage so it has fdic insurance however it is set up by default to run choppy and to not run on real-time data to help save server space if you want to utilize it to trade actively you're going to want to change three settings in order to make your thinkorswim run much smoother and we're about to cover them right now first there's something you're going to want to change before you even get logged in to thinkorswim i am on the login modal here if i come down to the settings cog your memory usage is going to be set by default to the lowest two settings for the min and the max you're going to want to adjust this based on your own pc specifications i have 32 gigabytes of ram if i go ahead and hit Control shift escape you're just going to want to get your thinkorswim setup i of course am running a lot of extra things right now as i'm making and editing a video but you're going to want to set up your thinkorswim to the right amount of ram so that when you run it you're around about 40 to 50 percent cpu you want to turn up the random access memory that the application is allowed to use enough but also not too high right i have mine set to 16384 as the minimum bit rate and 26159 as the maximum bit rate if i go ahead and log in to my account here give me just a second to do so if i go ahead oh that is not my password trey i just tried to log in with my uh normal video game password because i'm talking to you all while doing it if i go ahead and get logged in here let me give it a second it said it was currently under maintenance hopefully it doesn't take too long i'll show you all my memory usage in just a second Alrighty, so i'm now logged into my thinkorswim application i believe in that previous clip i said cpu usage i meant to say memory usage of course if you're updating how much random access memory an application is allowed to use this is going to be the column you're going to want to look at and as you can see my random access memory my physical memory usage is at 50 percent and that's even while i'm making a video while i have my video editor open so i actually like normally could turn up my thinkorswim but of course as a content creator i have other stuff going on in the background and maybe you will as well once again you need to come into your task manager and test this for yourself it's all going to be dependent on your ram how many background applications you're running etc etc but get your memory around the 45 to 50 percent rate and you should have as smooth as possible running thinkorswim application alrighty so now we have adjusted our physical memory we have a smooth running less choppy thinkorswim application i want to show you kind of one more kind of side tip let's call it tip 1b to that physical memory if you jump into the help tab here i'm on the system sub tab while you are within your thinkorswim you will be kind of gathering data and thinkorswim has sort of a data storage system while you're running thinkorswim the longer you run the application the more data it's going to store and store and store and if you come into this and you hit collect garbage that will kind of help clean a lot of that up and it happens real quick it happens real time so if like around noon or mid-afternoon while you're trading you notice your thinkorswim start to get a little bit choppy remember help system collect the garbage help clean up sort of the application and the data that it is currently saving step number two and this is a huge one this is a real life changer from within your thinkorswim application after being logged in you're going to click on setup application settings you're gonna go to system and by default 
think or swim set your quote speed to moderate as i mentioned in the intro assumedly i don't work for charles schwab or think or swim but assumedly they do this to relieve some pressure off their back end off their servers right and honestly this is fine for so many people for investors they, they don't need real exact time data but for us for you watching this video for me for the active traders for the day traders for the swing traders uh this doesn't fly you should change this to real time no delay of course hit apply settings i'm making this video after close so unfortunately i can't show you in real time but i promise you look at your level two or sorry look at your time and sales before you change that setting and after you change that setting you're gonna feel like you've been trading with your training wheels on right it, it, you're gonna feel like i i am speed your car is your lightning mcqueen everything gets so much better i promise if you haven't already changed that setting it, it, it genuinely i remember i remember i mean it was probably eight years ago now eh, seven years ago now the day that i changed that setting and i still remember how i feel that day so for those of you that uh haven't already changed that uh let me know. Let me know how you feel in the comment section down below once you do. For those of you that have maybe been eyeing sort of the uh, trade strategy running in the background or my custom dot plot indicator that I have running down here at the bottom, I create custom coded strategies, studies, scanners, watch list columns, etc., etc., and I make them all available to download from my website, Day Trading Strategies. Dot net. There'll be a link at the top of the description down below for only $25 a month. You're going to get access to over 45 different thinkorswim codes. I can't tell you that it's worth it for you, but I can tell you it's the best value you're going to find. If you're new to thinkorswim, if you're just getting into thinkorswim, if you want to get more into systematic trading, which is what made me profitable, check out daytradingstrategies.net. Link in the top of the description down below. Go sign up today and become a better trader. Secret number three that is going to make your life so much better when using Thinkorswim is this link tab right here. I think so many people that are new to this application underutilize the power of the link. If I open my kind of left bar here, my left uh, sort of side panel with the little arrow here, all of these watch lists have let me drag it out a little bit so you can see some more all of these watch list gadgets that i have running over here i can link to chart so i have this runner's swing uh scanner watch list running here of course available to download at daytradingstrategies.net for any of them now that i have this linked to number nine lilac since this chart is also linked to number nine lilac when I click on one of these charts, when I click on one of these stocks, sorry, from the scanner, it is going to immediately load onto the chart. I don't have to go, oh, look, it's there. I'm going to go type it in, blah, 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 blah. Next, if I come into uh, trade, if I want to look to trade some options, if I go to the spy options chain, I can then send, hey, I want to send this options chain to nine lilac if i go back to this i am now looking at the price chart of that option if you go to a flexible grid where you have multiple charts turned on i don't currently right now have multiple charts turned on but you can link them all together however you want there, there, there there's a hundred different applications for how you can use this and if you have any specific questions feel free to ask down below. I just want to make sure you all at least, at least are utilizing the watch list to chart link functionality and then kind of discovering what else the link functionality within Thinkorswim can do for you. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. Ha 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 ha!